Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we'll discuss about HMAC algorithm. In our last class, we clearly discussed about MAC message authentication code. There, we discussed that in order to provide more complexity in the hash function. So, we are going with two levels of hash function. So in HMAC, we are going with two levels of hash function to provide more complexity. How this will be, let's try to understand the algorithm, how this runs. So in HMAC, it is very, very easy to understand. In HMAC, if the message is there, message is divided into n blocks, each of it having a b bits means message is divided suppose if your message is uh, 256 bits if it is divided into b means uh, assume that it is 16 bits 256 divided by 16 means total how many blocks it is going to get so 256 divided by 16 those many blocks you are going to get so uh, we are going to divide our message into n n blocks each block contains uh, b bits and we are going to take our key value. Key is padded with zeros. Key is left padded with zeros and make it zero, make it B bits. Key is also make it as B bits. Suppose in our last, in our message, if, if, you, if the last block does not contain B bits, then we have to do padding and add the bits and make it as B bits. Key is also added with left padded with zeros and make it as B bits. So now the B bit key is sent into the exclusive odd with iPad. What is meant by iPad? iPad is this 8 bit value 00110110 in hexadecimal 36. We take this iPad value, we repeat this iPad value B by 8 times. Suppose if our key plus, key plus pad is equal to 16 bits, means in order to do exclusive or with 3 and 6, uh, this 16 bits should be exclusive or with uh, because this is only 8 bits. So 3, 6, 3, 6, repeat 2 times, it will make it as 16 bits. If it is 32 bits, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6. That is what repeat this until b by 8 times and xr the output which we got is b bits so entire thing this entire thing the message and the key xr with the ipad value this entire thing is taken as input to the hash function so what happens inside the hash function whether it will take uh, the message b bits at a time or complete message at a time what happens inside this hash function this is not yet discussed up to now in our previous classes in our next class we are going to discuss our first cryptography hash function which is a sha 512 hash function algorithm in our next class we are going to start it so something happens inside this hash function and this hash function is going to generate a, a n bit output this n bit output we call it as intermediate HMAC message authentication code. Again, this n, n bit intermediate message authentication code is again done with padding to make it B bits. Again, make it as B bits. Again, we are going to take the key plus pad value, means padded with left zeros, and this is going to be XORed with O pad. O pad means OPAD is a value that is predefined 01011100 means in hexadecimal 5C. 5C repeated B by 8 times, same like 36 repeated B by 8 times, 5C repeated B by 8 times. And this is key plus pad is going to be XORed with OPAD and we are going to get B bits. These two again sent into the hash function and it is going to generate an N bit output. This n bit output we consider it as our message authentication code. In order to provide two levels of complexity, hash function is applied two times like this. This we call it as hash message authentication code. These are also used sometimes in our real life. 
so this algorithm is very very important to understand hope you understand this example if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you